In this video, we're going to be looking at how to create a query which will um, span across multiple tables and pull different bits of information from different tables. We're also going to be looking at how we can add extra fields to that um, query to do simple calculations. Now, the query we're going to have a go at creating is going to essentially list out all the payments made by different people. The first thing I'm going to do is click on Query Design. I'm going to add all three tables. Once I've done that, I'm going to just arrange them slightly so it's a bit neater. As you can see, they've already got um, themselves linked up through relationships, and this should have been done before starting this query. Now, the next step is to select the information I want to display. Well, I obviously want to see the product name, I want to see how much they cost, and how much stock I've got left. I also want to know um, the payment amount, the date of the payment, and the first name and last name. I'm again going to run that, and as you see, it's basically put them all together. This only works because of the relationships already set up. If no relationships were set up, then this would be a very different result. So as you can see, it's got the payment amount, the current stock, and the price per item. Let's say I want to work out how much um, it would cost if I was going to buy the lot, the rest of the items. So, for example, in this one, um, I'd be times in the number of stock remaining by the price per item. And where this is probably a silly calculation to do, I'm just doing it as a demonstration of how you could do it. So I go to Design View. I find myself a blank field. Okay, and I'm just going to delete what was there before because I don't need it. And I'm going to enter my own command. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, current stock and multiply it by the price per item. I'm going to run that, and as you can see, it calculates it. Now, notice it also says EXPR1, and we've seen this before in the previous tutorial. Um, I can name this a bit more sensibly by changing the text before the colon. So I'm going to call this, I don't know, um, total worth, maybe. And there you have it. This is how you create a query which spans across multiple tables and how you can do simple calculations in a new field.